So this is one of those related rate type of problems where there's like a ladder leaning against the wall. So we have a 12 foot ladder. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna grab the ladder from the, from the point here on the ground and we're gonna drag it away. So right now it's like this, but eventually the ladder is gonna be like that. And then after that, it's gonna be like that. So the point is, is that this is gonna get bigger, but this is gonna get smaller and smaller. And they tell us how fast this is getting bigger. This is increasing at this velocity. The goal is to find dy dt, which is this here and how fast this is shrinking as this gets pulled away. And we need an equation that relates x, y, and 12. And so I already wrote it down. That's the equation that we're gonna use to relate x and y in 12. And we know why, because it's the Pythagorean theorem. So, so, but you know, middle school, right? Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. The 12 is always 12 because regardless of how the ladder is positioned, it's always gonna be 12 feet. Now, why don't we take the derivative? The derivative of this is gonna be not just 2x, but it's gonna be 2x times dx dt. How about this one? Plus the derivative of that would be 2y times dy dt, implicit differentiation. Anytime there's a third component like time and you take a derivative, do the regular derivative, but then go dx dt or dy dt or whatever the variable is, equals the derivative of 144 is zero. Now, what are we trying to do? We want to solve, we want to find dy dt. So let's get this by itself. So let me subtract that to that side. I'd have 2y dy dt equals negative 2x dx dt. I subtracted this to that side, so that's why it's negative. Let me divide by two. So y dy dt equals negative x dx dt. So I wanna get y dy dt alone, that's the goal. Now, what, what are x and y and dx dt? We know what dx dt is. Dx dt is how quickly side x is changing. They tell us it's 0.6. So we know that that's 0.6. What's x? x is the specific length that they want us to use. They want us to use x is 9. So we know that x is 9. But the question is, when x is 9 at that moment in time, how much is y? So I need to know what y is when x is 9. So that's when you use your Pythagorean theorem. Go here. Take 9 for x and plug it in there and solve for y. So a quick FYI. We'd have 9 squared plus y squared equals 144. So y squared is, what's 144? Take away 81. We have 63. And you can take the square root of that. So y equals the square root of 63. That goes here. And now, let's see. So let's clean this up. So we have square root 63 dy dt equals negative nine times 0.6. Let's divide 0.63 into that. That'll tell us that dy dt, the goal, is negative 0.6803. That's just my made up answer for my made up problem. I don't know how they want you to round, but let me say this before I let you go. dy dt is negative as it should be because y is getting smaller. And so its rate should be negative because this is getting smaller. So that's the general routine for problems like this.